Hallelujah. Every single day, my brothers and sisters, I am so blessed that I'm alive. I'm so excited for such a time as this. Really blessed. You know, I'm so excited. Because I believe that God is doing something great on this planet Earth. I believe that. I believe that the Spirit of God is ready. You know, it's ready to connect it with our spirit and send us out to make a great difference in the world around us. Do you all agree with that? You know, when you wake up in the morning, I feel like God is ready. Are we ready? And every single day, I believe that God is ready to put you to work, to put you to represent Him. So for this um, <clears throat> time at our church, we study about the relationship. You know the relationship? I studied a little bit, you know, before every time that we, you know, do the sermon. It's kind of like put so many hours into it. Google, the Bible, everywhere, you know, like keywords and all that. And I'm, I'm so blessed, really, so blessed that I get, I get to grow as well. So the relationship, it's in English, you know, I don't study so deep, but I believe it comes from the word relate, right? Relate. I related to you, you related to me. Relationship. I look a little bit in the Khmer word, they say, tiatong. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of word, you know. <laughs> it's, it said it's, it's, it's a pattern. They said it's a pattern of a connection. Wow. They say that it's a pattern of the connection. And accept each other. And have a connection with each other. And you talk to each other, you know. These are the Khmer words. It's now the way in which two or more people or things are connected. If you don't get connected, it's not relationship. It has to be connected. State of being connected. So as I look a little bit, relationship point number one. God is the one that designs relationship. It's God. He designed it. Let's, so God, did he, the reason that he designed relationship, because start with him. He wants to have relationship with the people. This is God. So in, in Genesis 1, 26 to 28, then God said, let us make man in our image, in our image, after our likeness. I read from ESV. And let them have dominion over the fish, over the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over the earth, and over every creeping things that creeps on the earth. Verse 27. So God. God, it's, God said let us. Created men. In my image. So this relationship come from God. It's a godly relationship. That he desire. To have relationship with us. In his own image. According to what he wants it. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God. He created him, male and female. He created them, and God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. God want people to create more people. And God want people to create more people with a great relationship from God. The people that God created related to each other. The people that God created connected with each other, not just created, okay, good luck, you go. It's like sons and daughters of you. Or you're, you are a daughter or son of your parents. They just, don't just give birth to you. And let you go, good luck. No. They make sure that they are connected with us. 
make sure that we have food to eat, make sure that we are clothing and all stuff like this. This is human on the earth. But God created us in his own image according to his design. This is God. And God also, the relationship starts with God. God also wants us to relate it to each other as well. Could you imagine you live in the same house? You never related to each other at all. <laughs> a husband never talked to a wife. Why never talk to the husband, a children or whatever? You know, you just live separately. This world, this house is going to be a big chaos house. But God wanted us to have relationship with each other. In Genesis 2.12, then the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I believe that God, you know, I'm going to finish reading. Um, alone, and I will make him a helper fit for him. This is God. God want to make a person, a woman, and to be connected, to be related to a man that he has created. So God created women from a man for them to have relationship with each other. So, as you read the Bible, you can see that God do that and also he himself come down to walk with Adam and Eve every single day. This is God. God always connected with us. God always want to have relationship with us. So, relationship come from the word relate. And when you relate, you make sure you connect with each other. And when you connect with each other, it's always think of God. God is the one that designed a relationship. Point number two. Then, after they have relationship, then the jealous from the devil said, Oh, wait a minute. That place was me. I was supposed to have that relationship before. And now I want to have the relationship with the person, men and women that God created, and then the devil make plan to destroy the relationship. Genesis 3, chapter 3, verse 4 to 5, but the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Say, so, oh, you know what? That was wrong. Why God hide something from you when you have related to someone? You have relationship with someone. And in the, in the back of your mind that they have something hidden from me. How do you feel? You know, you're going to feel like, I, I can't trust that person. Right? When you feel like this person might cheat you, this person not so honest with you, it's planted doubt. So the devil planted doubt in Eve's heart. When they planted doubt, and they, oh yeah, if I'm to eat it, then I will be like God. Oh no. Then, oh, I need to do that. I want to be, you know, I want to be cool like God. I want to look like God. I want to have all the wisdom like God. That is so wrong. It's so wrong. So when casting doubt, corrupted in the relationship, it's become win-lose. I win and you lose. It's okay. As long as I win. So then the world start to base their relationship on this kind of thing. Oh, I want to be cool. I want to be better. Make sure that in the relationship, make sure I'm the best. Make sure that nobody else like me. Yes, I want to relate it to people. Yes, but I have so much money. Yes, people need to honor me. Yes, I'm so cool. I'm so pretty. I am so handsome. People need to talk nice to me. 
Yes, look at my wealth. I have so much stuff. They need to honor me. That's why in the relationship of this world, have so many classes. As a lower class, if you are to walk down in front of the rich people or people high up in the government, you want to make sure that you are lower than them. Can you imagine? What kind of relationship is like that? This is human in the culture of this world. They got corrupted because Eve was the one that accepted the change because they don't, Eve did not trust God. And because of that, the relationship come down through the channel of many generations later, you know, God corrupted. It's so hard for people to relate it to one another. When they see each other right away, I mean, at, you know, at that moment, they can't trust them right away. They have to go through all the process to make sure that is this person trustworthy or not, right? You have to go through everything, you know, yeah, they need to meet this criteria and meet that criteria, meet, 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 meet. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Maybe I could relate it to them. If somebody asks, for, well, oh, could I have your phone number? Oh, in the back of our mind, what are they thinking? Maybe they want something from me. Maybe they want to take advantage of me. And, you know, I just, just, just assuming it's that way. Because the relationship, God corrupted, cheated. It's not good. But God's not happy. God said it is not good. He comes down. God again restores that relationship again. He's not happy. He wants to restore relationship. He misses his son, misses his daughter, his desire to have relationship with them again. His desire to have relationship with them, to for them to have relationship with him again. This is God. This is God. And in Isaiah 1, 18 and 19, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Come, let's talk. Come, let's talk. If you fight with somebody, if they push you away, are you able to say, come, let's talk? It's really hard, right? It's so, so hard. Only somebody willing to humble themselves, humble themselves, did not think about the issue is the big issue. They humble themselves and they go in and they want to restore that relationship. So God said, come now. Let us reason together, says the Lord. Those your sins are like scarlet. They shall be as white as snow. You know, when you feel sin, when people commit sin, when I disconnected, when I was upset with somebody, when I fight with someone, I don't want to see that person's face, right? When you're in an argument with somebody, they don't want to see each other. They want to avoid each other. This is a way. But God come down. Come, God said, let us reason together. Sit down. Let's talk. Let reason together. Let's see. Let's find out. Don't worry about your sin. It's okay. I will make it as white as snow. It's okay, I forgive you. It's okay, that sin, I forgive you. It's so hard for a human to just go to the person that offended them and say, come on, I forgive you. Come on. Even though your sin are so bad, it's all right. I forgive you. Let's settle it. Let's fix it. I would do anything to fix it. This is God. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of this land. Wow. If you are willing, my son, if you're willing, my daughter, you will eat the good of this land. All the good of this land is yours. When you're willing to make a reconciliation with me, you can reconcile with me, you will eat the good fruit of this land. 
The good fruit of this land belong to you because it all belong to me. I gave it to you. Actually, I was given to you already, but because of sin, you just connect, disconnected yourself from it. But if you are willing, if you obey me, you will eat the best of this land. Wow. This is the desire from God. So many people are going around and complain, complain, complain. But if we are, if you are, if everyone of this world just willing to reconcile, willing to give it all to God and trust God 100% and we will eat the good of this land because God prepared an inheritance for every one of us. I believe that. God have gifts for every one of us. It's ready. It's ready, but we need to go get it by faith. So God restore. Relationships start with God, and then God cor um, um, uh, corrupted by devil. And even though the devil did that, but God always had a plan. He come back, and God willing to settle with us. He sinned. His son to die for us. He demonstrates his love while we're still in sin. He proves his love. He paid for that relationship. He paid for it by dying on that cross. Come on. Let's us settle. Let me die for you. You don't have to die. Let me die. You live. You are righteous. That they accuse me. Come on, it's okay. This is the love of Christ. He restored that relationship again. This is important. Point number four in relationship. You start. So when you learn the relationship, when you have a relationship with God, you start your relationship with other people based on godly relationship. When we start relationship with somebody, we think why we want to relate it to that person. That person might not handsome. That person might not pretty. That person might not rich or have a big position or whatever, whatever. But because we love them, we value them. Genesis 17, 27. And all the men of his house, who's born in the house, and those bought with money from foreigners were circumcised with him. Talking about Abraham. Before that, you look at Abraham. Abraham get everyone to come into his house. And Abraham didn't think that, oh, this person just a slave. That person just a slave. Abraham have relationship even though he's a boss. Even though he have so much wealth. But Abraham related to them. As the same. As the same. He humbled himself. He find a common interest. He valued them. He honored them. He reaching out to them. He loved them. He respected them and honored them and embraced them. In relationship. Always think you start to relate it with people first. Starting with you and I, related to people, smile at them, say hi to them, greet them. And then after that, go to the next level is what is friend. So for people want to look for a future spouses, this is important for you. Start to smile at people, related to people in a good way. Don't rush. Right? Don't rush. And then start to build friend. Just friendship. Relate. Become friend. And that friend become a good friend. Not just friend. It's getting to know each other better. Become a good friend. After a good friend, what? You don't stay there. Become a best friend. That person. I like them. They like us. Becomes the best friend. 
Why? Because you spend time together. So many times. You learn so many things. You have one another. So this is the way that God designed for people to live on this earth. Not just to live by yourself, but God has somebody around us to relate it to us, to help us to succeed in this life. Therefore, he put people around us. When we fall to that side, we got friends over there. You don't have to fall here. I got your back. You fall over there, many people there hold you. It's okay. I help you. You got me over here. Can you imagine? It's so hard for people to fall when they have a good relationship with many people around them. But if we're just alone by ourselves, it's often time. Fell easily. People, God gave people wisdom, but just one person alone wisdom is not good enough. We need everyone else to guard us, to protect us around us. So, number one in relationship, start relate to a person and build that relationship. It's become friend. Friend become a good friend. A good friend become the best friend. Then you start to see, ha ha. I could trust this person, you know. They, this person protect my bag. And if this person say, will you love me? Will you marry me? I would say yes, right? <laughs> because you know. Because you experience it yourself. But if the person just, you know, always cause issue, and even though they buy a nice ring, will you marry me? No. <laughs> you say no because you can't trust. That person. So it starts with relate and friend, good friend, best friend, and take it to the next level. Great relationship will lead you to great strength. When you have a great relationship, it will lead you to great strength. I could see that. I need someone around me. Point number five. Today I have a lot of points. <laughs> Normally two or three or something like that, but today I have quite a bit. Point number five, when you have that relationship, you build up the relationship. Don't just leave it right there, right? Just build it up. So this, another story, story of David. And so in First Samuel chapter 22nd, verse 1 and 2, David departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And all his father's house heard it. They went down there with him. David is the one that, you know, make a great thing for the country of Israel. He cannot live in Israel because the king jealous with him. The king wants to preserve the power, reserve the power for his son. Therefore, he wants to kill David because David's getting better and better and better and better. But, so David's on the run. Go hide here and hide there. When his family hurt, before his family don't trust David. He just, he's just a young boy. You are youngest kid. You look after the animal. It's against the culture in Asian country. In Asian country, the young kid, the young boy, always stay home. But for this family, the youngest one look after the animals. <laughs> That's not right, right? It's not right. But later on at this point, they start to trust David. Wherever David's at, they look for him. They go to be with him. And verse 2, and everyone who was in distress, you run away and people just go to you as well. And everyone who was in debt, can you imagine? You try to run away, try to hide, and all of these people, not good people, <laughs> my brothers and sisters, and sister, all the bad people, people in distress, people in debt, 
in. Everyone who's, who's was bitter and so was bitter. They upset with the king. And gathered to him, gathered to him. And became, and he, David, became commander over them. And there were with him about 400 men. Wow. When you are a great person, easier for others to relate it to, they can find their, you know, calling. They can find their confidence through having relationship with you. And another person maybe start to write a letter saying, oh, come here. This place is better. This place is good. I can find my identity. It's like when you have relationship with Christ and you start to see, you start to feel, you start to experience your identity in Christ Jesus. Oh, I never ever imagined a person like that. It was me. Wow. Because you have relationship with Christ. You related to Christ and Christ related to you and Christ started to lift you up. And then you start to bring the news to tell your relatives, to tell your spouses, to tell your children, to tell your friends, come on, come on, come have relationship with Christ. It's like the lady at the well. She was there by herself. But when she experienced the love of Christ, she, when, when she related with God, with Christ really well, and then she started to go to people and tell people, come on and see Come with me and see this man. He must be the prophet. Come on. Because she get to relate it to God. Important. When we have good relationship. And people will go after you. They run to you. Can you imagine he tried to hide? Hide. He don't want anyone to know. But 400 plus people. Go to be with them. Can you imagine? How, how are you going to feed them? How are you going to look after them? But these people, they find a safe place with David. Another one, 1 Samuel 27, verse 2. So David arose and went over. He and, and the 600 men, more people, ladies and gentlemen. 600 men, wow, who were with him to... Uh, Akshish, Akshish <laughs> the son of Moab and the king of Goa, Gath. So when you related to people well and people start to tell their friend, this well, people look for a good relationship. Look for somebody that they could trust. It started with you and you build it up and people start to bring more people to you so when you start a good relationship based on God relationship you see that I mean you have relationship don't have any hidden agenda don't do that it earning trust by people bless them lead them keep them and make them grow build a godly relationship. Last point, you build relationship and you bring the relationship to the next level. Protect it. Protect that relationship. Don't just say, oh, I have relationship, good luck. It's okay. Related. So, oh, pastor, I have so many friends. Now it's good. You don't have to see them. Thank God for a messenger. You text them through messenger. Text them through the phone. Hey, friend, I'm thinking of you. Is there anything that I could pray for you? There's a man I just met in Peru. And I, I kind of thinking of him because I saw in the news that the biggest storm called Hurricane Dorian, Dorian going to hit Florida. <laughs> Hurricane Dorian, right? <laughs> gonna, gonna hit Florida and my friend live in Florida a person I just met I text him how are you doing he said it looks like 
began, uh, you know, the storm going to hit our state badly. I just say, okay, we're going to stand with you. We're going to pray. We're going to command that storm to shift off the shore. You will see. This morning, my brothers and sisters, I look at the storm again. The storm started to shift. Storm started to shift. Yeah, God is so good. God is so good. Yes. By the power, I believe everyone prayer. The storm will hit. You know, I look in, in, on CNN, you saw my post on Facebook. If you go back to my post on Facebook, I saw that storm hit Florida. But the storm started to shift. God is so good. He is better than a storm. He can shift the storm. He can stop the storm. He can calm the sea. This is a God. So when we build, have relationship, build it up and protect, protect that relationship. Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16 to 17. You read the story. Naomi was so hopeless. She want to go back to her land. Her husband died. Her two sons died. There's no way. She tell her other daughter-in-law, go back to your people. She tell Ruth also, go back to your people. But Ruth said, do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God my God where you die I will die and there will I bury may the Lord do so to me and more also if anything but death parts me from you like no lady mama there's no way I have relationship with you already how could you separate this relationship unless I die this relationship will be cut off if I still alive there is no way that this relationship will be cut off from me wherever you go mom I will go with you your people my people your God my God wherever you die I will die there don't separate this relationship when you have this kind of relationship you know it's really special God really honor Ruth and because of that she's the ancestors of David and later Jesus 1 Samuel 20 32 to 34 another story of David David and Jonathan then Jonathan answer answer Saul his father why should he Put to death, you know. So, when they see that he's he protected, don't kill him. He's my friend. Don't do it. He's my friend. Don't gossip about this person. That person is my friend. Don't gossip. Don't talk bad about that person. They are my friend. Please do not do that. I will protect them. This is a good relationship. Please don't talk bad about my wife. Please don't talk bad about my husband. Please don't talk bad about my son. Please don't talk bad about my daughter. I want to protect them. I will protect them. They are my people. I love them and they love me. There's no way. Don't speak this kind of garbage to us. This is important. Ladies and gentlemen, God loves us. Relationship is so important. It's when the devil touch us, it touch God because God loves us so much. So he protects his relationship. So therefore, my brothers and sisters, you own that relationship yourself. Don't, don't say, oh yeah, you know, in my house, nobody loved me. In my house, it's just like this, it's just like that. No. You do it yourself. You own that relationship yourself. You come to church, make friends with other people. Oh yeah, I go to church for weeks already, but I don't have friends yet. Okay, 
If you don't have friends, start to be a friend. Make more friends. You own that relationship. Take that relationship outside of the church. Have people to experience a godly relationship. I believe the world around us wants they taste this good relationship. When they see that you don't have any hidden agenda in this relationship, they will relate it to you better. And they will become your friend. They will become your good friend. They will protect your back. Could you stand up? Hallelujah. Relationship is so important. Hallelujah. Allow God to touch you and transform that and help you to experience His love. So once you experience it, you bring it out to the public, to the world, and have the world experience it. Hallelujah.